Assalam, this is Unity, and I'm here to show you all how to make another Afrocentric Unity Designs. Okay, this will be designed for Kwanzaa. I'm going to do seven different designs for Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa start on the 26th of December, and on the last day, if you ever been to a Kwanzaa celebration, they usually give gifts, mostly to the children, but some people do give the um, gifts to adults. And these will be some cool designs if you would want to use them as a painting or earrings or necklace or whatever. So the first day of Kwanzaa is Umojo, which means unity. So this design will be called unity. You can use it any way you want to you can create this and as a hobby um, you can do it as a business and many blessings to all so let's get started you can use any platform you want to use as I said you can I'm gonna use these little squares the link in the description box if you would like to purchase these they're very reasonable I get them off Amazon okay the first color that I'm going to use on here you know with African designs they have bright colors and then sometimes they have the simple colors as black and white but we're going to mix it up so this design is called unity start off with a red kind of like a dark red I'll put the colors in the description box that I'm using but you don't necessarily have to use this same color get creative which this design is called Umojo which means unity so I will put a link in the description box so y'all can learn more about Kwanzaa if y'all never celebrated it before before you start painting base it with a, a primer and if you don't have a primer, you can use a white paint. And if you don't have a white paint, you can use Mod Podge. Mod Podge is really, really good for a primer. So we're gonna do that one that way. And then we're gonna do this one at the bottom. The next color will be orange. You can use any color orange you would like to use a light orange a dark orange any color orange So this is what I got so far. This design is so cute once we finish. And the crazy part is all coming to me as I'm creating with y'all. Spiritually, divinely guided. Being that these um, earrings was given to me in a vision. Doing hand painted earrings were given to me in a vision. So it's like I never, I'll never get stuck with creating it's just come to me so we're gonna use I'm using a black as y'all can see So this is the base colors of the earring design now and you don't have to worry about if it's not like neat and all that you don't have to worry about that but if you're a person that do worry about that you can just go in and clean it up because we're going to put a design on top of this so everything will blend right in 
The next thing that I'm going to do to make these look so cultured and indigenous and African, I'm going to put a circle and I'm using the color green. It's like a green metallic. And what I'm using is, this is called a, a all. And what they use usually use these for are um, you know the poke holes and leather and stuff. But I use I've been you when I first start making hand painted earrings, I use always use something like this to poke my holes in. And I will do a video to show you different ways that you can make holes in wood. I have about three different ways that you can do it. I get that question a lot. How do you put the hole in the wood? Okay, so we're gonna put a circle. There we go. And now we're gonna go in with a yellow. In this video, can you tell me if you ever celebrated Kwanzaa? Can you tell me what is your favorite thing about Kwanzaa? Can you tell me have you applied any of the Kwanzaa principles to your life? I'm give I'm doing a giveaway after these seven videos. Are done and it will be for a pair of these earrings um, or brooches or whatever I design so you will win that the next thing some black lines in between the circle so let's do this we're just gonna put This looking really African, y'all, right? And then let's put some dots going around. And now I want to go in with some white paint. Put a couple of dots in with the white paint. It just to make it pop. A little more. Let's just put some lines. And the lines can be, they don't gotta be straight lines. You just, you know, pull them down. And if you don't have one of these, you could use a small, tiny brush. I have some small tiny brushes in the description box and you also can use a toothpick but you know a lot of people they're more comfortable with brushes so we put in these lines okay so now just to make it right we can stop right here but we're not just to make it look so it's cool. It's cool. It look like a little people in the village sitting down finna eat, right? <laughs> I don't know. I just be thinking about stuff like this. So just to make this pop, pop more, let's add some blue. You can use a ultramarina blue, true blue, what with any kind of blue you want to use. So. Or you can use with any color you want to use. We're going to make it look like crosses. We just say plus signs. And we'll put a couple of these in here. This would be really pretty, y'all, on canvas. On a canvas piece. So 
be right there. So the next color I want to just add in here to finish this design off is a some gold. And it look the gold right here kind of looks similar to the yellow. I'm just going to put some little lines in here. All right. It's one more thing I want to do to this, and I think this design will be finished. I want to go in with the black. And just put some lines going this way. family this is unity and this is the finished product this is the finished design it is umojo which means unity that is the first principle of kwanzaa um i want to thank you all please send me if you create this design if you create it on earrings pictures whatever you use this design for please send me a, a email and with pictures and i will put it in one of my next upcoming videos but yes, this is Umojo. In each video, you would see what each principle means. And with, with this series, I would love for everybody to take these principles and apply it to their life. Kwanzaa is from December 26th to going in the beginning of the year. And we can do Kwanzaa any time of the year. I always wanted to do a series it's like I start, but I never finish. But my goal this year is to finish a lot of things and complete them. So I did a video in 2013, and I showed y'all how to make um, some Kwanzaa ear wire earrings. I made like the swirls, and I made some beaded earrings. So I, I showed y'all how to do those. I put that video in the description box. So if you want to learn how to make those, I'm also do an update video on some of those those beaded earrings. And yeah, so check that video out and that'll be some cool gifts to give to some of your friends and family. This even this design and any design that you see, any African print design. And get creative, y'all. Use it on different things. You can do it on shirts. I, I'm, I'm saying that in my videos because I want y'all to get real creative with these designs. So this is the unity design and I'm going to do some of these design or other things. I said that in a couple of my videos, but I'm going to do some of these des designs on other things. So y'all can see how it look like this would be fly on a pillow. You know what I'm saying? This would be fly on a shirt. This would be fly on a skirt. It's just so many things that you can do with these design. So I have another there's another channel on YouTube that I share my energy with. And the reason why I say it like that, because I can't say my channel. I don't, they can just pull it away. They, YouTube got a lot of stuff going on right now. So this is another channel that I share my energy. I share space and energy at. And I will be doing more things over there with um, bigger canvas and candles and different things. And if... If y'all um, been following me for a while, I'm pretty sure y'all know about that channel. So I will be uploading some stuff on that channel in this week. Subscribe to it if you haven't subscribed to it. But yeah, so this is a mojo. This is Unity. And I can't wait to see what y'all create. The next design is called Kuji Jagalia. And I it's already done. It's right by me. So that's going to be the next video. It should be coming up after this video well not after this video but the next video for the diy kwanzaa series so if you like videos like this and you want to support this channel you can send a donation as low as a dollar 
and the link is in the description box also i take care of feral stray and the foster cats and i want to thank you all that have donated i want to give a big shout out to queen hattie she donated to the cats for food and i want to thank everybody that joined me on my live birthday video we i had so much fun all those gifts will be shipped out this week and i will send you all tracking information once they go out it's a couple of them i have to make some of them are already ready to go so i want to thank you all and the ones that missed that live every day is our birthday every day we breathe and so i will do more lives at least twice a month and every now and then maybe a pop-up one so another live will come and after this series there will be after this kwanzaa diy series there will be a giveaway for one of the pairs or whatever i create with this series make sure you read the description box about those giveaways i'm speaking about them in my in in the videos but i don't know if everybody heard so make sure you read the description box or go back and listen to the beginning of this video because i know i said it in this video so there will be a giveaway at the end of the seven videos on winning a pair or whatever design that i create all right y'all let me go and enjoy the rest of your day in the next video will be kuji jagalia which means self-determination so check out that one. Salam, salam.